Here's your latest headlines with Sierra Tufts from the Wayne.com studio. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Tuesday, July 2nd. Here are your morning headlines. Two barns are destroyed after a four fire earlier this morning. It started around 430 near the intersection of Cuba and Raynor Roads. That's between, between Leo, Cedarville and Spencerville. Firefighters tell us the two barns were essentially a total loss by the time they got there. So they focused on saving the house. Flames were already starting to spread to it. No one was hurt. Cows typically inside the barns were in a nearby pasture. However, fire officials say they're unsure if the barn cats made it out. And one person is dead after a crash involving a motorcycle in downtown Fort Wayne. It happened just before 7 the last night in the intersection of South Clinton and East Brackenridge Streets. Police say a man on a motorcycle T-boned a vehicle coming out of the post office. The man on the motorcycle was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police believe speed and light conditions were factors in the crash. Coming up later today, the Glenbrook flag will officially be flying. We'll be going to that dedication ceremony. Plus, we're learning about Fort Wayne International Airport's transportation expectation for this 4th of July holiday. Plus, tonight is another Trek the Trails, so we'll take a look at that forecast and what you can expect if you're heading out. That heat will be building today. High humidity is on the menu for the next couple of days, and we'll take a look at that July 4th forecast momentarily. And take a look at Storm Track, and we can see that system above us. It's not going to bring us anything today other than clouds. So looking at our local area. You can see we are pretty cloudy to start our morning. Might have a pop-up shower here or there, but nothing major to talk about. As far as that hourly planner, we can see those clouds start to increase as we head into the later parts of the afternoon. High temperatures today reaching the mid-80s, so definitely a lot warmer than the past couple of days. Winds coming from the southeast about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And let's take a look at Parkview Field. Still a little sunny to start this morning, but again, those clouds will be increasing throughout the day. Our humidity is low today but that will be changing. Looking at our exclusive 10-day forecast, high temperatures again today in the mid-80s, mid-80s tomorrow, but we do have that high humidity starting to build overnight, and it will be around for much of the day Wednesday and into the 4th of July. For the July forecast right now, low 80s, we do have a chance to see a shower and storm tomorrow and Thursday, as well as Friday, looking at the weekend. Upper 70s for Saturday, mid 80s for Sunday, and then a string of lower 80s and storm chances. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as we get closer again. Basically, what you need to know is it's going to be hot and humid for the 4th of July with a chance to see some showers. I didn't get to say goodbye. First of all, thank you for joining us once again. We'll see you back here at 12, and we'll also see you during the news at noon. In the meantime, have a good morning.